Oh, all right. So this is just going to be a fast food pig out. Actually, I don't even know if this is going to be tough. This is a lot of food. I'll explain everything I got in just a minute. Oh, I got some stuff from Wendy's here, McDonald's, and um, from Burger King. Those are the three closest fast food places near me. So let me just take a second and lay everything out here. And uh, so we can see if this is going to be a lot of food. I'm sure I got plenty of napkins. I don't even know if all the food's here. I never even checked it. So let me just lay everything out. And maybe I'll fast forward this a little bit for you. So you guys don't have to sit through all of this. But yeah, this is, I don't know if this is going to be a lot of food or not. So I haven't done a video in a while. I'll explain it after I set everything out. And fast forward. All right, so this is the last thing. Boom, right here. So this is everything. Oh, I made a mess. I didn't, uh, I am really hungry and angry, so I'm hangry. So this was kind of a pain in the butt to get all this done, but this is everything, all right? So we got it. I got some Wendy's French fries dumped out here. Okay, so I'm very unorganized here. I haven't shot a video in a while because I'm in practice for contests and I wanted to make sure I do good at contests. So, but um, one of my subscribers, his name is, uh, he likes to go by the name Dog God. He gave me a bunch of money and so I wanted to make sure I start to use some of that money for him. This isn't his official challenge though. I got another one planned for him, but Dog God definitely made this possible. This is like, oh, I think this is like uh, $125 worth of fast food. So it's probably not even like the biggest fast food challenge ever. I'd like to see if maybe I could do a $200 fast food challenge. That would be tough. That'd be tough. But all right. So let me start on some of this stuff here. I got Wendy's. I don't know. I'm gonna, if I'm going to be able to like identify everything here, but everything's usually labeled. So let's just get this started because I am starving. I'm having trouble talking because I'm salivating. These, uh, I got a Frosty from uh, Wendy's, but there was a problem with the mobile app and I spent a lot of time in Burger King. So this is kind of liquidy. I got some other drinks here. I got a strawberry shake and a chocolate shake from McDonald's, which was a lot closer. So, so yeah, let me just start off some, I'm just going to start off with a basic McChicken. So I got a basic McChicken here. Nice yellow wrapper. Boom. I am so hungry. All right, let me mush it down. So you got mayonnaise coming out. Tastes freaking unbelievable. But when you're hungry, everything tastes unbelievable. There's a lot of food here. The chicken is gone. Let me try some of these Wendy's burgers. I think Wendy's has some of the best bread. I didn't even check. I didn't even. I didn't even um, notice if that Mc chicken the bread was stale because I was so hungry I just ate it. But this is like a little chicken sandwich from um, Wendy's. The bread is soft. The chicken is better from Wendy's than it is McDonald's. The sandwich is smaller though. This, one of these burgers from Wendy's, I'm not sure if it's this one or this one. It's like a $10 burger, so it better be good. Yeah, so if I had to do a $200 fast food challenge, uh, if I couldn't like pick a bunch of different restaurants, I think I'd just pick Wendy's. So this is the Wendy's double cheeseburger. I wanted to get this video started. So I didn't even check. There's a fly in here. I hope he doesn't buzz the camera like that other fly did in that other video.
that snicker video. I think there was a fly that kept landing on the camera making noise. So distracting. <clears throat> so Wendy's is, tastes like it's flame boil, broiled burgers like McDonald's. I mean, uh, Burger King. I prefer the flat top burgers to flame broiled. But it's still pretty good. I think I got a bunch of them, so I better have another one. This just says, oh, this is another cheeseburger. This one's got onions on it. This is just a single, it looks like. Yeah. Super heavy on the condiments, though. Wow. <clears throat> All right, um, what is this? Oh, all right, so I got some nuggets. Let me just put the nuggets. I'll do like the nugget comparison type of thing. Um, I didn't get a ton of stuff from Burger King. Oh, well, I got some um, onion rings. I'm not like a super big fan of onion rings. I just, but... I figured I'd give them another try. I haven't had them in a while. Oh my God. This frosty is making a mess. <clears throat> Plus, it's spilled in the car. Whew. Man, I think I need a real drink because those onion rings are like stuck right here. Yeah, that's better. All right. So actually the frosty is still pretty, pretty cold. I'm impressed with that. This is sweet and sour sauce. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, comment below if you had to do a challenge with fast food. <clears throat> which you had to eat a huge amount of it. What restaurant would you pick from? McDonald's, Burger King? Um, Wendy's, I guess you could pick Chick-fil-A and stuff like that too, but. Well, that frosty is thick. Unbelievable. All right. Let me try to take down some of these. These are hot and crispy Wendy's fries. I like about Wendy's fries is they keep the skin on there. Right now, these are not hot and crispy. They're more cold and soggy, but what are we going to do? And yes, most of the time I eat my french fries without anything on them. I like them straight up. Or I dunk them in my milkshake, which I might do in a second. So those of you out there that may not know, french fries are like kryptonite to a competitive eater or food challenge person. Restaurants usually load up on the french fries because I think they're cheap. And they slow you down, they fill you up. So yeah, Coney Island practice, I think it started for everybody. Everybody I've been seeing practicing and I've been practicing, it's warm enough outside to practice outside now. So we're in full swing. So I'm not gonna be able to put, put a lot of these videos up at least till then. Gonna be a stiff competition this year. All 
All right. Uh, let's go for a mixed double. Uh, I don't know. Is it me or does like a mixed double look sad? There's really like not much to it. Put some sweet and sour sauce on it. It just looks like a it looks like a single that got smushed. No lettuce, no tomato, no onion. Sweet and sour sauce didn't help much. Um, all right, let's do Burger King. This is a a chicken, so it's like a giant chicken sandwich. It looks like. <clears throat> Oh yeah, wow. That is pretty thick chicken, oh my God. I gotta say, Burger King does not, is not afraid to like skimp with like the tomato and the, and the onions and the lettuce. I'm going to see if these other milkshakes are a little bit looser. Yeah. Mm. McDonald's shakes are definitely looser. I got some Whoppers left. Oh, I got Big Macs. Hmm. Let's do one of these giant... <laughs> Oh. <coughs> Sandwiches from that does not look as advertised. I, I never seen a picture of a burger that would look like that. There's a lot of meat in there, though. I think it's like a Western thing. I don't know. I got the. <clears throat> I got the receipt right here. This is a um, Texas Big Bacon Cheddar Cheeseburger. Yeah. I don't recommend it just by the looks. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes better than it looks. I think this thing on its own is like a thousand calories. <clears throat> that was a big burger. I don't know if it's a $10 burger, but it's pretty decent. And there's still a lot of food here. Holy cow. I shouldn't have went to the McDonald's. Get those Big Macs. You think if I push these Big Macs out of the frame, anybody would notice? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm <laughs> Let's have some more fries. These are Burger King fries. Let's see how good they are. Well, they, they're crispier than the um, Wendy's fries were. <clears throat> but to be, to be fair, the Wendy's fries did sit in my car the longest.
Let's go with this McDouble. Whew. I, uh, I don't recommend the McDoubles. They are not great. This is a cheeseburger from Burger King. Sesame seed bun. It's a double cheeseburger. Let's go for a Whopper. I don't think this is a regular Whopper either. What did I order? Oh, yeah. This is a... Actually, I don't know what it's called, but... It's got bacon. <coughs> and it's double Whopper with bacon. I don't know what they call it. I think it's like a ranch or something. It is beefy. Plenty of lettuce, tomatoes, and condiments, and plenty of cheese. I don't know if you can tell by my silence, but that was a delicious burger. Oh, I think it was like a Weston. had bacon on it, so it was Double Whopper with bacon, whatever that's called. You guys probably know better than I do because more than likely I'll never have another one again. But they are delicious. I don't treat myself that way. I should. All right. Let's get one of these down. These little guys, actually, these almost look like sliders compared to that Whopper. I'm sure that Whopper thing probably had a close to a thousand calories too. I should take that down. I should have took that down earlier so you guys can see better. There is a lot of food left. Holy cow. Um, let's just add another. I'll do my best to finish this. I'm trying to strategize here. I gotta get one of these sandwiches down because these things gotta weigh at least a pound a piece. The Wendy's ones tend to stay warmer because of the packaging. This is a thing, I think this is a triple whopper. Whew, that's a big burger. So the other one is pretty similar to this, but this that one had bacon on it, and I think it had some other Western stuff in it. Why did I order a triple whopper? I should have just got a regular whopper.
It's kind of dry. I'm thinking that they should have put cheese between the patties. The triple whopper. They didn't put any tomatoes on this or anything. <clears throat> The other Whopper was way better. It's going to be very dry. Huh. Hmm. I don't, if I don't eat this Wendy's burger now, I think it's going to kill me later on. Let me try to get it. It has plenty of cheese on it. <clears throat> it is huge and hefty. There's still a massive amount of food left here. Let's try to at least get some of these Big Macs down. Icy cold. Huh. I've eaten a lot of Big Macs. Soggy McDonald's french fries. I still think McDonald's has good french fries. Bunch of chicken nuggets. This Big Mac is kicking my butt. I don't know why I ordered so many nuggets. But, uh, my goal right now, I don't know if I'm going to get to these dog nuggets, but... Everything else I'm going to try to do. That's like 30 nuggets there. I don't know if I can do that. It's already taking too long. I thought this was going to be like a 20-minute challenge when I ordered everything. I don't care what stage at a food challenge you're at. In the beginning, in the end, when you don't like anything, a milkshake still tastes good. This one tastes better than that other one I ate. I don't know why.
One more Big Mac to go. Oh my God. <clears throat> last bite of the last Big Mac. <clears throat> I don't know what it was about the second one. The first and third one didn't taste nearly as good. I got some fries and then these nuggets. And I'm not going to eat all those nuggets. I might try one of them to see how they are. But I think the video's gone long enough. If I can get this down. Oh, and this last milkshake. I'll, uh, I'll be happy. Very tasty challenge. Oh, last of the chicken nuggets. Wow. We'll pretend we don't see those. All right. So we got some french fries and some milkshakes left. Let's get this done. Whew. I thought this was going to be a piece of cake. Oh. All right. This chocolate milkshake. I got a little bit of that Wendy's Frosty as well, but the problem with drinking these at the end is they don't go anywhere. They all just sit right on the top of your stomach. So it instantly gets cold on top of your stomach. Someone once told me the cheaper the ice cream is, the quicker it melts because it doesn't have a lot of milk fat in it. The fat's a good insulator. So that Frosty, that Frosty stayed cold for a long time. Must be pretty good ice cream. I have a feeling McDonald's shakes are a lot of water in them. All right, let's try one of these delicious. Hey, they're actually still pretty warm. I, these are the Wendy's nuggets. They're good. They're good. I could have ate. I could have ate a bunch of those. They're better than the other nuggets for sure. Wow. Oh, in it. Oh, these are spicy. Oh, dang. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't eat those. <laughs> oh, my God. Now it's super spicy, but it just caught me off guard. <clears throat> I didn't realize I ordered spicy ones. I, I probably didn't. They probably messed up because I wouldn't have ordered spicy. Yeah, the, the, the Wendy's milkshake is definitely better than the McDonald's milkshake. Even melted. All right, one more sip here. Oh. I didn't think I was going to make it as far as I did. Even, even I, I didn't finish the nuggets. I just, that was a lot of food, more than I thought. 
Boom. All right. Did it. Whew, what a mess. Look at all this wrappers and stuff. This is not even all. This is another pile there. This is like chuck full of all the junk. Not very environmentally friendly, but uh, anyway, so that's like McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's Challenge, just for fun. Sponsored by Dog God. I had to get something out for him because he's been very generous to me. And uh, yeah, so we won't have a lot of videos coming up. Uh, month of June. I try to go live more often though, so look for that. Oh, let me finish this. Mm. All right. Like, subscribe. I got to find a way to get some more views on my videos. Uh, we'll, we'll wait till after Coney, though. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh.